Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase should be the number one overall pick in 2024 fantasy drafts. Wait. What? I'm Alan Sislowski of rotowire.com. Since coming into the league three years ago, Jamar Chase has finished as the wide receiver 5, 14, and wide receiver 5, most recently despite Joe Burrow coming into last season, compromised, and then eventually leaving with a season-ending injury in week 11. There is upside that Chase could separate from the rest of the elite wide receivers in his tier. There is little dispute that Christian McCaffrey, Tyree Kill, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and C.D. Lamb, and maybe even Amon Ross St. Brown all belong as the top five or six picks in your draft in any order that anybody wants to take them. But here's why you'd be wrong, unless you take Jamar Chase with the number one overall pick. Not that an elite competitor like Jamar Chase needs any extra incentive to play at the highest levels of the NFL, but Jamar Chase is heading into a contract year which can and will set his family up for generational wealth. Chase is playing with an elite quarterback in Joe Burrow who is presumably back to full health. Burrow is exactly the style of quarterback you want playing with your high-end wide receiver. Burrow is a throw-first pocket passer who proactively targets and looks for Jamar Chase first on nearly every dropback. Jamar Chase's wide receiver teammate is T. Higgins, who is one of the better number twos in the league. Higgins is good enough where teams will have to pay attention to him and not double up and triple up on Jamar Chase. Teams did wise up after Jamar Chase's rookie season where he dominated downfield using too high shell to make sure that Jamar Chase had to play a little bit more underneath. You don't need me to tell you to take Jamar Chase in the top part of the first round of your fantasy draft. I want to point out that he is a safer pick than some of the other top options and still possesses that league winning upside. If you're thinking about taking C.D. Lamb, who did finish as the wide receiver one overall starting in week eight after Dallas's bye. Keep in mind, Lamb was wide receiver 24 for the first half of the fantasy season. The reason was most likely Dallas was trying to establish the run, which did limit the pass catching upside. What did they do, Dallas Cowboys? They bring back Zeke Elliott. And not that Zeke Elliott is an elite fantasy back, but it does show that they may try to be more of a proactive running team at first, which could have C.D. Lamb off to a slower start than we're more comfortable with, similar to 2023. There is no such risk with Jamar Chase. Tyreek Hill dominated fantasy football in 2023 before slowing down due to injury and when the weather got cold. At age 30 and self-proclaimed retirement maybe two years away, there is possible age cliff for Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill has too much cliff risk to be the number one overall pick. Christian McCaffrey has been the best fantasy running back since going back to the days of Ladanian Thomason, LT2. I hate that nickname. With usage unheard of over the last few seasons, you cannot be surprised if Christian McCaffrey's workload is scaled back or if he starts to slow down at age 28. From a draft theory perspective, there have never been more playable running backs late in drafts than there are right now in the NFL. This is not the case with the elite wide receivers. So taking a wide receiver first and taking your running backs later in the drafts does make a whole lot of sense. Game theory and position scarcity are enough for me to elevate Jamar Chase over Christian McCaffrey with the first overall pick. Justin Jefferson was the consensus number one overall pick in 2023. This year, Jefferson has quarterback uncertainty with journeyman Sam Darnold and incoming unproven rookie J.J. McCarthy. Jefferson did play well with Nick Mullins last season, but not good enough to be the number one overall pick. Jamar Chase has the talent and has a good enough sidekick to draw away coverage and an elite pass first quarterback in Joe Burrow. Chase should provide top five fantasy floor with the upside to be the number one overall player in fantasy football. I'm taking Jamar Chase number one overall in all my fantasy drafts. Let us know in the comments who you're going to take number one overall.